Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Monday morning. We're figuring out who's got our money, and we're getting after it. This week has kind of been crazy all over the place. We've had a bunch of different things going on. Dump trailers. We've been doing construction. Finally got my bathroom to where I could use the commode. And so this video is just kind of the, some of the high points of what's happened in the last seven to ten days. Get me, I ain't got my teeth in. But... It's been about a week, week and a half since I posted anything, so I was going to go ahead and get this thing uploaded and just go ahead and, you know, I ain't about all being uh, totally proper or trying to be the best YouTuber out there or anything of that nature. I just, wait, stop. No, it's not hammer time, but it's subscribe time. So hit that button for me. Appreciate it. We're all about some financial independence. Why? Because we want that freedom that when we wake up in the morning, we're not having to worry about, we're asking ourselves, what is it that we would like to do? Do we want steak? Do we want lobster? Do we want Italian? Do we want a massage? Do we want a new car? Do we want a used car? Do we want a big $80,000 truck? Do we want a $1,000 Kia? Whatever it is, we want those options. So, take a look at everything. Have yourself a very wonderful day and... Be productive, be profitable, figure out who's got your money this Monday. Hey, good morning, everybody. Saturday morning. Uh, it's about 7.15 in the morning. Up and at them. Got to meet Danny at 9. Going to have the truck dump trailer. We got to go pick up some different trash piles, different places. And then we got to... Um, do some plumbing at the house at that particular property right now this is the way that i start my day i'm watching a financial video this guy's name is gerald peters you really should follow him he does a lot with stocks a lot with real estate um just really a relatable simple it's not complicated kind of message the thing about it is is that he talks a lot about taking action educating yourself and putting it out there Every one of us has got a multi-million dollar idea. Very few of us will ever pursue that. Whenever you get a chance, follow him. He's Full Auto 11 on Instagram, Gerald Peters on YouTube. I got a little bit more coming up here in just a second. Stay tuned, watch the video. But hey, you, yeah, you, right there. Do me a favor. Ding, ding. Hit the subscribe button as well. Trying to get this message out to everybody. What I want is when you wake up in the morning, I want you to be able to have a choice of 20 different coffees. I want you to be able to say, you know what? What am I going to do this Saturday? What I want I you to do is wake up and say, well, I'd really like to do that. No, I can't afford that. Well, I'd really like to go see my kid. No, I can't afford that. Well, a steak. No, I can't afford that. So let's help you get to the point where you can say, you know what, whatever it is that I want to do, I can afford that. All right, this is a property that I got. That's going to be the Airbnb that we're doing. We're doing rehab on that unit. And we just got a big trash pile that we got collected. Most people aren't willing to work on Saturdays. They don't want to work on Sundays, Monday through Friday. Eight to five, that's gonna pay your bills, but Saturday and Sunday will get you rich, okay? And we're like, well, I just need to get more money coming in. I do agree. But the side of that is, is that you need to invest more. Whether you cut your expenses or you get a side hustle and take all that money and pay it off, that's what needs to happen. I just talked to somebody that they've got a rental house. It's rented, they wanna sell it and then pay their mortgage off on their primary residence and I asked him I said why don't you take that rental payment and put it on your mortgage and pay the mortgage off that much quicker and then at the end of the game you have a rental property that gives you income and then your house is paid off as well we'll see this gentleman right here 10 years ago I believe he was in Iraq and he ended up in the hospital waking up 
lost half of his leg, and today his anniversary is I'm Still Alive Day. So we all met up with him and celebrated him still being alive. Thank you for your service, Christian. This is where we are making some progress, and we're going to take a look at this sewer pipe. Now, you see that right there? That's actually a piece of carpet with roots grown into it. They put it on top of that piece of pipe. And you see that right there? That's the reason that this does not flow. It would be easy to say, well, we're just going to we'll fix it as it goes, so to speak, if anything happens. But I was like, I know for sure that from that point to that clean out right there, we were having problems, and Danny uncovered it right there. Now, here you gotta look at the other thing. Somebody snapped half of a piece of PVC pipe around the terracotta pipe to seal another hole. And what I'm imagining is, is that they probably opened it and poked a hole in it so they could run a snake. And then, at some point, they installed it out. But we're actually gonna take that clean out, move it up here, because when people come in, They'll pull around and then they're going to back up into this space. And so that's totally impractical and not good right there. Bad planning. Bad, bad plumber. All right. That through there is the new bathroom. That used to be a door. That went into a five by eight walk-in closet. That was a doorway that went to the back door from the master bedroom. And that was a little hallway and so I took it and that's part of what made the bathroom that right there this set of French doors I cut in about 15 16 years ago I'm gonna put a big deck on the back with a hot tub right out here and there was an exterior door right there that's been closed off guys coming tomorrow to brick it in and on the other side of that is a set of French doors that go from the kitchen outside and the deck will go to it as well and so right now I'm just kind of taking it easy and my goal is not to do anything work related for at least 12 hours. So y'all wish me luck. We're going to take a little nap and uh, make this happen. So, the next at least 12 hours, I'm not doing anything work related. And I just tried to take a nap, laid in bed for about an hour and really can't sleep. So... We're sitting in the backyard watching the dogs and yep that's tyson right there there's mr nuisance himself and there's blue and we got a guy coming tomorrow that's supposed to put brick up for us and he's going to do that doorway and where you see those and that was a fire pit cleaned it up today we're going to get us one of those metal ones and but there's going to be a big deck going all the way across the back of this house Eventually, we're going to get on that, get it done, and I ran a three-inch drain back to it when the sewer was tied in a few years ago, and so I'm going to make that into mother-in-law suite, and when mom's not here, she will, uh, that place will be Airbnb. What are you doing, Blue? What are you doing, Blue girl? <laughs> she has got an attitude when she's out here, that's for sure. There's old big boy. That a baby, that a baby Tyson right there. Yep, hey blue. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Hey blue girl, blue girl. Hey blue. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's gonna get bricked up tomorrow. I cut a double window out, put that French door in about 15 years ago. And we're gonna have a big back deck. There's gonna be a hot tub right there. Hard to see right now, but that French door I put in last year still got to kind of finish it up some and but we're gonna have a big deck across the back of the house See what I gotta put up with okay here we go we got some rock up we got the vanity in we got the commode we definitely need to get a new seat showers in a few more things and it will be done and completed. Probably going to put a shelf right there for linens. And 
nice mirror right there. Maybe even a shelf on the back wall right here. I have to put some trim around the door. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Get too far off of that road and still be able to dump. And he's like, man, I tell you what. He said, I'm going to have that bobcat out there. He said, all you need to do is just dump it and I'll get it moved. You don't worry about that. And I said, okay, we'll make it happen. So we just need to get out, get it dumped, and then move on down the road and get a few more loads before the day is in.